welcome back to The Local Live. I'm Rebecca Berman. Tonight, our community segment, we will get to know more about one of our new neighbors, Emma Marinek. Filmmaker Mark J. Parker. Mark, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. We want to talk to you about your new short film, Sticks, which was recently um, shown at the Yonkers Film Festival yeah. earlier this month. So tell us a little bit about you. Who is Mark J. Parker, oh and what are your passions? What are my passions? This is a hard question I know, to start is. off with. But thank <laughs> you guys for having me. Um, well, so for being here. My passions. Well, I love, as you can imagine, I love telling stories. I love right. telling a good story somehow, whether it's being a filmmaker or being a casting director mm -hmm. or being a teacher. Love getting the energy out and, and telling a good story, beginning, middle, end, whether it's horror, whether it's comedy. I've, I've, ever since I've been a kid, ever since I was a kid, I've loved movies, TV. Right. I've always wanted to tell stories. And, and based on your movie, I'm assuming you've always loved horror. Oh, always. <laughs> I was Freddy Krueger for Halloween when I was like six. Oh, it was okay. bad. My, my dad was a little too lenient. Um, but yeah, right, I've yeah. always loved he good scary known, movies. He should have known, right? Yeah, I mean, I blame him. This right. Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, so I was going to ask you what inspired your movie, but now that I know you, you were Freddy Krueger, yeah. I really kind of get that. Oh yeah, all the classics, <laughs> Freddy and Halloween and Scream, all that stuff. But right. actually, uh, when I was writing Sticks back in 2006, I started writing this a long time ago when I was in mm -hmm. college, we went on a road trip uh, to a friend's house in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania Right. Uh, when I was living in, in Philly at the time, and it felt like it was going to take forever and ever and ever, and our minds were just kind of, our imaginations were going with it. We're like, well, what if we get there and there's this guy there? and what if someone popped out of the woods right there? Like, where are we going? And the whole time I just kept thinking, well, what if this was a movie where you kind of take a sort of standard horror movie right. approach, right. friends going to a house in the woods, yeah. not that original, right? right? But it's all about imagination, and you're not really sure if you're seeing what's in their mind or if you're really seeing someone there with them. Right. So I kind of developed that over the years, and I really wanted, a couple years ago when we shot the short in 2015, I really wanted to shoot the feature. It's a feature-length film. Right. Um, and, you know, of course, I didn't give myself enough time to you know, crowdfund and fundraise and plan. So I was like, well, let's at least make a short out of this. So right. I took like a chunk of it out and I just really amped up what would a scary movie be like if the audience can't really tell if these scary stories they're telling around the campfire right. are just in their imaginations or if someone really is in the house with them. So do you, are you used to writing um, films or shorts? Is that something that just comes easily to you? Do, is that a process you learned on your own? Mm. I'm sure like anyone listening to this interview would be yeah. like, how did he start that? Like, right. I, I really want to do something totally. like that. Um, it's funny, nowadays it's so hard to write. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just with your normal jobs and right. you're always so busy and then when you get home you don't really want to actually keep working. But it's harder now because it's just so you know, solitary. Right. You have to really focus. But when I was a kid, I was always writing. I actually am in the process of still scanning all these old yellowed oh, papers funny. from my parents' old house. They're like, now okay. that you have, like, finally, you know, you have a nice place in the Marinette, you got to right. get this stuff out of our basement. Right. So, yeah, I was always writing as a kid. A lot of it was, like, literal, literal rip-offs of scary movies and... Right. I think I wrote like Clueless 2. It was basically oh, the same so thing funny. as Clueless 1. Well, but, you never so, know. We might see that one. Day. I mean, <laughs> hey, if you yeah, if you want to see it. But I was always writing. So yeah, I'd, ideas always come to me. I actually find Mamaroneck and Westchester in general very mm -hmm. inspiring. Oh wow. Yeah, I think it's that's just, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I totally do. <laughs> Literally, like on Halloween night, I right. looked out my window and I was just seeing the trees and I live right here by the water and I was right. like, there's like something going on here. And I was getting ideas and yeah, I think I think also after living in the city for eleven years in New York, right? Um, you know, we were starting to go crazy. We needed to, you know, calm down a bit. Right. And yeah, I think it's a great place to write. I just wrote something the other day. And it's probably also so much quieter here. Oh yeah. Coming from the city, you know, compared to someone who's here for years and years. Right. Right. So, how did you find your cast and crew to to film your movie? Great question. So. Um, we shot it in Maine. Uh -huh. We shot it at my husband's mom's house in Maine. Okay. Um, because I knew it was the perfect setting for it. It's, of course, seven hours away from here, but I thought, right. it's a free location, let's go. So the cast was literally split between New Yorkers and Mainers. Oh, that's funny. So a and, year before And we they're called Mainers. Mainers, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're Mainers. Yeah, definitely. So a year before we shot the short, I shot a little bit of test footage okay. just to sort of feel it out, and, and I um, was able to luckily find, I don't even know, it's such a blur now. I was able to just find through people, through my husband's friends and through friends, 
shooters and okay. some actors and stuff. So yeah, out of out of the four main actors, one of them is a main local. The rest were from New York. Okay. One actor, um, E. Ty Benson, is on Broadway right now in the band's visit. So right. uh, you know, through a friend of mine, uh, my friend Michael Rios, who's a casting director. I was able to work with him. I didn't want to cast the film myself. Right. I wanted someone else's input, so we did some auditions in New York, right. and then just got everyone in cars and drove up there. Wow, that's yeah. so great. Mm -hmm. Um, it's pretty so, crazy. So what's next for Styx, and when does it premiere? We want to know like all the information, how right. can people see it? Totally, yeah. Um, uh, so the next screening for Styx, uh, we're almost done our festival run. Okay. It, it's been uh, doing festivals for the past year and a half, so I feel like that's a nice time. That's a right. long time to do it. We've been in about 35-ish festivals around around North America. Wow. Yeah, that all, all smaller-ish okay. festivals, but still, but, I mean, it's been really cool. And it takes like a while to enter them yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and go through that whole process. Yeah, so. we just screened uh, earlier in November uh, at Yo Fi Fest, Yonkers okay. Festival, which was great. And so next is uh, the Northeast Horror Film Fest in Teaneck, New Jersey, okay. North Jersey. And then that might be it for festivals. And then in 2018, we're going to put it online. We're going to oh. probably put it on Amazon. Okay. Um, so for Amazon Prime members, you can right. see it for free. Free, and even if you don't have Prime, you you know can rent it for usually it's like one or two dollars. Wow! Um, yeah, Amazon has really made it pretty nice for indie filmmakers to get their stuff out there and still make you know a couple cents right. and have it on a, a legit you right. know platform. Well, I feel like that's really what it is: is that you, if you have access to Amazon Prime, just you're basically saying anyone could go do oh, yeah. that. Oh that's yeah! Oh yeah! Absolutely. Borrow someone's password, right? And and you don't have to on. pay anything. There that's you go. You're crazy. on. So. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the next step, and then it'll live online, and uh, yeah, and then hopefully one day we'll make the feature-length full story. Right. So are you going to screen the movie anywhere in Mamaroneck for your in your newfound home? I mean, that would be cool. Town. I don't I don't know a ton of people, so uh -huh. I don't know who would come. Maybe I don't even know where we would do it. I'd, I'd have to think about that. Too bad the movie theater on on Mamaroneck. I, mean, I mean, that would be perfect. Even, oh, don't right? open up old wounds. Oh, please. as soon as I moved here, I was like, that. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. We need to like buy that. We need to fix it up. Yeah, um, yeah. that's an idea. We'll have to think about it. I don't right. even know. I don't know. It's funny. My brain now now that like. You know the festival, you know, run is kind of uh -huh. ending. I'm like, all right, what are we shooting next? Because I'd love to shoot in America, right. definitely. So when can people start to see it on Amazon Prime? Do you have a timeline for that? TBD for now. Okay. Um, but but I'm thinking January or February, pretty okay. much oh, like wow. the start. Yeah. Really so soon. yeah. So you know, why not just get it out there? Because okay. yeah, we shot it uh, in August of 2015. So right. it's been a little bit, and I want to see. I want to get more people to see it. So. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook. Okay. Uh, it's just Where Sticks did... Movie. Okay. Uh, technically, it's facebook.com slash Sticks Movie. That's kind of our main website. Right. Um, you can see all the updates there, so we'll definitely be posting a lot about when it will be okay. online. But yeah, in the next couple months. Right. So all those horror viewers out there who love horror movies, this is your movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> please. Yeah. It's, it's okay. all the fun, scary stories you have told yourself with a little twist. Right. Well, that's really cool. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming here and sharing your story and talking about your short film, Sticks. Thank you. Yeah. And we're really excited for you. Um, and uh, the town of Mamaroneck is very excited to have you live Thank here. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks, Mark. We're looking forward to sharing the screening of your short film with the Mamaroneck and Largemont community and our local live viewers. Now back to Kat with more community stories.